Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeChair.co.uk. Hopefully you've seen my previous video which shows you how to install Umbrico. In this video what I want to show you is how to add a search functionality to the starter kit that you get when you install Umbrico. If you want to follow along with this video, go to the blog post that I created called Simple Umbrico Search Example on my website CodeChair.co.uk and this has got all the code that you will need. OK, I've logged into Umbrico. Now what I want to do is create a search page in Umbrico. To create a search page, what I need to do is create a search document type. So if I click on Settings, I click on Document Types, I click on the three dots, and then I choose Document Type without a template. I enter the name up here called Search. I click on the icon to the left so I can choose my own custom icon. And in the keyword part, I'm going to put in search, and there is a magnifying glass that I can use. Now, I'm going to hit save, because that's all I need for now. I'm going to click on the arrow next to templates. Then I'm going to click on the arrow next to master. And I want my search page to inherit from master, so it picks up the styling that master uses. So if I click on the three dots, and I click on create, and I enter in the name of search. Click on create. What I have here is it's saying it's going to use the Umbrico template page. It's going to use the layout from master. So now let's go to the blog post that I created and take the code from there. So we'll take the form part here. This is going to give us an input box and a button. I'm going to copy that and paste it in there. And then directly below that we'll copy the other code and paste that below. This other code gets a search query from the query string of the page. It looks for what the search query is. If it can find one, it will tell you what your search results are. It uses the Umbrico search functionality built in to search based on that search query term and then it creates a unordered list with all of your results, doing an A tag for result URL and result name. So I've pasted in the code from my article. One other thing I'd do is just put a div class equals container. And what this will do is this will just bring it into the middle of the page more using the grid system from Bootstrap. So if I hit save. Now we need to associate this template with the search document type that we created. So I've clicked on the search document type, click on templates, choose a default template, and then I choose search. Now if I choose save, that's associated the template for us with the document type. Now the other thing is we need to be able to create a content item using this document type. Now if I just show you, click on content, open out home, there are certain documents already in here using different document types, but I want to use a search. If I click on the dots, you'll see that I don't have a search option because it's not been enabled underneath Home. So let's go to Settings. Clicking on the Home document type, I need to go to Permissions. Then under Permissions, I can add a child, which is Search. So now it allows a landing page and search. So if I hit save, and then go back to content, and click on the dots, I can now choose search. So I'm going to enter in the name of search, and I'm going to save and publish. So now we have a page, and if we want to, we can visit that page by using the link to document. It loads up the page. Now we have a search text box and a search button. So if I enter Umbrico and then hit enter or hit search, we get results for pages that have got Umbrico on them. And it's as simple as that. So that's just using this blog post that I created and using the starter kit that you get when you install Umbrico. And you can easily create your own search functionality, search page. 
I hope you find this useful. If you do find it useful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and look out for more videos coming soon.